This is the number one podcast in Colorado, the Double Barrel Brothers Podcast. Here we go! Here we go! Get ready. Double Barrel Brothers are back to entertain you with our wits. You thought I was going to say, <clears throat> uh, never mind. Music, comedy, sports, and from time to time, some smart ass. Find us on iTunes, Google Play, and all social media with our handle at DB Bros Podcast. Now, let's get the show started. Four, three, two, one. Every time we play that, it's just, <laughs> I, I look at your face and I'm just waiting for like your reaction to like the, so, the fanfare at the it's end. Nothingness at the end. It's like three, two, one, and then we both look at each other and go, uh. "You ready? You ready? <laughs> what are we gonna talk? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Tim, the man, the machine, man two machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> back, back, back in the man. studio, man. He, he's he's yeah. back with us. Um, because he was so good last time and such an intellect and we just like having smart people on the show. So thought we'd bring him back. Welcome back, Tim. Man. It makes us look smarter. It yeah. does. It's you are who you associate with, supposedly. Yeah. That's what I heard on, on Facebook. So it's gotta yeah. be true. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Tim was just telling us a little bit about uh how COVID nineteen apps have been installed on all of your phones, whether you like it or not. Yeah. For you guys who don't know. How is that even possible that they can do that? What do you mean? Is that straight up like through iTunes or is that through uh, like Google Play or is it just like you don't have a choice? It's just yours. I, I think that since the F, what it's Federal Communications Commission, what oh, is yeah, it, well, FCC? Yeah, yeah. They, it's so, it's health, uh, what is it? How do they put it, man? If it's uh, a major health to the general public, mm -hmm. so they can just. So it's like an Amber to, Alert. Yeah, to kind of protect the world. Type situation. Yeah, so they're they're so calling it. Out great. They're yeah. calling it a COVID nineteen notifications. Right, like we don't hear about it every time we turn around. Still to this yeah. day. So if we start getting amber alerts <clears throat> for like people with COVID, <laughs> there's a white male, thirty seven years old, last seen driving down Nevada, sneezing and coughing without a mask on. <laughs> <laughs> If you see this man, please stay six feet away. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> no, is it not true? Yeah, like, no, aren't you a little yeah. paranoid that yeah, I, mean, I had to sneeze yeah, somewhere man. the other day and I held that son of a bitch in? Some, like, my, run, you know, the eye, like in yeah. the mask, the yeah. eyeballs pop out and all that. I, there have was have no you done it in public? Yeah. Do you see the, the, the looks you get? It's oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at King Supers and yeah, not something. to plug them, but one of the workers there was not wearing a mask, right? And did it offend me? I didn't really care. But this lady that was wearing a mask, she lost her mind on this dude. <laughs> She's like, it's still why, doing it. Why are, you, why are you not wearing a fucking mask? So and, Jessica got into a uh, into an elevator the other day at the uh, at the department of DMV, the one on Centennial. Mm -hmm. And so she got into the. Uh, I can't even see your pretty ass. Oh. There we go. So she got into the elevator. You can take there. that all the way out if you want. No, we're good. So we we got into. She got into the elevator, and this guy was in there all by himself, wearing a mask, obviously. And he started yelling at her, "No, don't get in here! Don't you get in here!" Really? Don't, yeah, and she just get laughed. Out of here with <laughs> that, I'm man. getting on. You're gonna have to get yeah. off if you're uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Already been proven that it's ten times unhealthier. Yeah, and you are still convinced. Yeah, uh, point this at you, Tim. Point this at you. Oh yeah, yeah. So this, yeah, so this is go. this is my my safe space. Yeah, is that like, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. you're six foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Are you exactly six foot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wing wing tip to wing tip. You're six oh. Actually, my my wing tip. Or I've got seventy six inches. Oh, that's pretty good. So Look, man, maybe maybe I sound reckless, or according to. The CDC. I have like way more core morbidities than more than half the people I know. What does that mean? Underlying illnesses. Oh, so to say. Really? You know me well. Enough. Sickle cell anemia. Is yeah, that what they're all, talking you know, about? Is that this, the, that's the all one. This, yeah, all this <laughs> other fun stuff. You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> me and Mike have worked out. Mike have put me to workouts. Come on, man. Like, yeah. One of the my, healthiest my, man, look, <laughs> individuals. My thing is this, man. If it's gonna get me, it's gonna get me. And I'm not trying to be a dick. And I'm not trying to put somebody else's life at risk. Stop being so stupid about this, man. No, it, it is. It you is. It's mean? it's absolutely insane. And there's that old that that meme that pops up, and I don't know why what people don't understand about it. But it says, if masks work, then why do why aren't we allowed to gather in public, mm -hmm. right? And if they don't, then why do we have to wear them? 
It's, well, that, it, it's, it's, it's the same simple. Co- same concept. I yeah. mean, if you fart, then you, you can pants. smell it. You <laughs> can smell the shit. Exactly. Good. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's been, it ain't helping. And I, and I <laughs> pretty sure COVID is way more deadly than fucking sulfur. Oh, sulfur. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. You haven't been. You haven't smelled one of Drews. I'm telling you, there's been some podcasts I almost didn't make it out of. <laughs> These might get warm. It might be true. Oh, my! Everything got warm. Everything it was like yeah, napalm. We, we were in the middle of winter. <laughs> in the middle of winter, the windows defrosted oh, 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 right yeah, outside. The drift that was on the your window up. No, no, <gasps> oh, man, you can't do it. Oh, no, That's you just all. you just gotta pray. <laughs> <laughs> Using the mic as a yeah. filter, <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming Please. through. Like, <laughs> have, you, have you noticed that everybody's talking like Bane now? I'm just like, I don't know if you like me. Okay, <laughs> and everywhere you go, okay. why do you? Like- <laughs> and everywhere you go, when you, when you go up to talk to these people and they've got masks on, I can't understand a damn thing they're saying. Because you don't realize how much you rely on actual the visualization and reading someone's yeah, lips as they're yeah. speaking, because yeah. there's a lot of people who are already a little bit mush mouth anyway. Yeah, they mumble. Yeah, yeah. And and so when you put a mask on top of that and you're trying to be you know do some customer service shit <laughs> and people are like, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck you just said. I really don't. From murdering his brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so what do they do? What do they do? They go. <clears throat> they take yep. their mask. Oh, down. now you're not afraid. Nine times out of ten. So here's what I want you to do. No matter what, even if you guys can understand them, your mission now, and, and feel free to join in, listeners, but your mission now is to everyone who's wearing a mask that talks to you, act like you can't understand a damn thing they say, make them pull down the mask, and then when they go to put it back on, ask them why they didn't sanitize their hand, and are you going to change that mask now? Yeah. And are you going to, but I can't, now I can't eat here. I don't understand what's going on. You guys are freaking, you're not doing, you're is not it, following the guidelines. Is it that time where I can <clears throat> be pure about me speaking or I still got to wait? No. <laughs> is it that time? As long as you're not super loud. Okay, Just, yeah, you know, super keep, loud, keep it up against but, the mic. But I definitely want to be able to say, gotcha, bitch. Yep. <laughs> gotcha. I gotcha. You feel what, would, what would you do if, you know, you're, you're talking to somebody with the mask on, and earplugs. Uh, <laughs> what if you're wearing earplugs and you're like, okay, and they're like, why, why? I have earplugs. And you can get COVID through the ears now. You can get COVID through the ears. You haven't heard? Maybe you have it already. That's, mo- you're not mo- listening. A moment of silence. I'm good. <laughs> I didn't know you were going to mouth some <laughs> Hey, God, God forbid. <laughs> I'm going to go, pray over us. But, but God forbid we die from it. Everybody going to be like, those fucking assholes wouldn't listen. 98% chance we're not going to, Tim. Exactly. <laughs> and I swear I would eat my words. I would totally oh, yeah. do it. I, I would fight like hell. Oh, for sure. I would fight that yeah. more than cancer. Bro, bro. I would I, yeah. I'd be like, oh, you, I can't like go you, out. Yep. I've talked I'll way talk too much shit. shit. Yep. Oh, you think, you think this going to take me? Nah, nah. I've been talking too much shit on social media, man. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere, yeah, everywhere, yeah. to everybody. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm ridiculous. So I, I refuse. <laughs> if I go to, into an establishment and they tell me you, you can't come in without a mask, I, I walk off. Yeah. But I had to go get Jessica some of her body butter stuff from mm. Ulta Salon or whatever. Oh, oh yeah. Over there yeah, by Dick's. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and this was the only time that I had no because usually I'm kind of confrontational. I'm, I get no nah, man, I don't do that, you know. Yeah, but yeah. whatever. So, but I walk into Ulta and they got a guy and he's as gay as gay can be. Which nothing wrong with that. Do I have to say that disclaimer? Blah 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we love do gay what people. you do. Well, yeah. love we you love you in a gay way. Love you. Yeah. Um, anyway, so gay as gay can be, and he's like, "Excuse me." Do you have a mask? Welcome in. Do you have a mask? And I said, no, I don't have a mask. And he's all, okay, we require one to be in. So you have to go get a mask before he can come in, okay? And, I, and, I, and normally I would be a little like, you know, but, then I, but I, he, when you're that gay, <laughs> and you know it's just going to be like full drama. I don't need that in my life. So, and everybody in there is going to support the guy. I mean, because, you know, they're all hair product people and whatever. I'm bald. Clearly, I don't care about the store. Right. I'm here for someone else. <laughs> right. So, so I turn around, and I walk out, and I've got one in my truck just in case there is a store that I would need to go into, and I have to have one. So I go back to Dick's and <laughs> need to feel manly, so I buy some tank tops and you know, try on some workout clothes, <laughs> things like that, because I feel like they've just been... <laughs> 
<laughs> I just may have caught a little bit of it. No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> so, so I go back out and I, I'm like, man, I know Jessica is going to kill me if I don't get her this body butter because every time I use some of it, because it's really good for you. <laughs> right. And it smells fantastic. You should have so, told that guy that. Right. <laughs> So I, I I go and I grab the mask out of my truck and I put it on right outside the door and I walk in and he's all, hi, welcome in. Oh, welcome back. You got a mask I see. Fantastic. Is there anything I can help you find, sir? And I'm all, oh, so he couldn't dress you. Unless you had a mask. Right. So, so now that like, I've got it. Right, now it's that, okay, guys. <laughs> Everything is going to be just fine. We've got one. He's a manly one, but we've got one. We got him. Right. It's going to take a little work. And but. so he's like, can I, help you, can I help you find something? And I have to go, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, body butter. <laughs> Can you can you just point me towards the body butter without making well, it real, yes, real well known? <laughs> sure, right over there. See underneath the star, you know, and it's the whole freaking thing. And, uh, it's amazing. Like I've never felt so strange in my life. But that's the only guy that's been able to actually get me. The only one that made me feel powerless. <laughs> Where I well, it's, it's just like going to right. I mean, have you ever been to like you go to Victoria's Secret and you see like nope. five guys on the outside just waiting, and they're all just like. Awkward, like no, I'll go right in yeah, there. Yeah, I don't yeah, care. Yeah, even yeah, if like even the, if yeah. Jessica's with me or not. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just perusing, yep. just just looking. Yeah. Sir, <laughs> how can I help you? Sure, yeah. yeah, no, that's I. There, I have no problem doing that. I go bra shopping with Jessica and pick some out for her and all that stuff. I have no problem with any of that. Yeah, normally, it's like my daughter and wifey. See, with yeah, and it, that that's just too much for me. For your yeah, I, with I, your daughter, that's, I can't, I can't, I can't, can't be that dad. I can't. No. That, that vision, just <laughs> even now, I, I'm getting it, it's it's coming. Like, I sweat, feel it. Bro. He's starting to sweat. Yeah, 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 sweat. yeah. 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 <laughs> it's coming up. Well, you've got daughters. Well, I, I, tons I, I, of I'm, them. Well, I'm the same way. I'm like, no, wear, <laughs> wear like wear like granny panties for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like, no, but I I, I don't care about the store because if yeah. she's picking something out, I'm like, yo, no, you need. Those. Yeah, I need that lace. Let me show you what I like. I need that lace. Yeah, like, let me show I, you what I like. Matter of fact, you go sit down. This is for I'll me, right? I'll pick it out. I'll pick all of it. <laughs> You're not picking this out for yeah, you, right? This yeah, is for yeah, me. Yeah, so for let me. me let me pick yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. I got no, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm yeah. with you on it. So you you bring her a size four, and she's a size fourteen, and chick just hits the fan. <laughs> like, no, hey, hey, you, know know what, you know what, Drew? <laughs> she's wearing it. <laughs> You I gonna, like it small. You gonna squeeze your ass <laughs> yeah, in that? You, you get it <laughs> <laughs> I like it spilling out a little bit. <laughs> Might as well go to Dick's Sporting Goods and just buy some spandex. I don't know. <laughs> Matter of fact, let's just put this rubber band around your waist <laughs> and call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need, oh, baby. Shit. It's coming off anyway. It's coming off anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, everything is... It, it's, we're just living in such a crazy world it right now. It is so strange. It feels like zombie land, man. Yeah. It, it, it does. does. It really does. It, it does. does. Everybody's looking for a Twinkie. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and, <laughs> and it's like, it's you can't... And you just, you know, just like, <clears throat> you know, you started off with the body butter, man. Like, you... Yeah, I'm going to see where you're going to go you're with being, this. You're being, <laughs> no, and this, this is the world, though. You're, yeah. you're being insensitive. Yeah. You're being, everything is insensitive. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm just like. Is it but, insensitive but, but is or it? hypersensitive? Like almost like so hypersensitive that it's yeah. gone back over to insensitive. Yeah. And, and it's just like, and I, talk, <clears throat> I, I talk to Mike about all this stuff, man. It's like, if you're a certain class or a certain race or a certain, you can make a certain joke. But if you deliver a certain joke back. Yeah. Oh. Hey, bigot. Well, you're, you're yeah, and don't, well, don't laugh racist. too hard at you're it. A, yeah, so, no. yeah, you got limits. <laughs> yeah. you, you need to watch. Do you see the lines on that board over there? Don't laugh past that line up there, okay? Because yeah. that meter gets too high. Now Now I know for a fact I got to slap a label. Where does so this get out of hand? Yeah. Where did this get out yeah, of hand, guys? Calm down. Just take a breath. Where did it get out of hand? What po- at what point did we lose control I don't, man. of our own emotions? <clears throat> I don't know. Okay? Man. These kids, whatever. I, I, I personally... And blaming it on the generations after me. Oh, it's generation. It's X. Yeah, yeah. I X mean, and millenniums. It, and, and it, there's no way that I was raised in that world at all. Mm. Like we we did not. We we still had you know all in the family and the Jeffersons and yeah. all kinds of that stuff. And nobody ever talked about it. Well, nobody <laughs> ever nobody ever tripped on it. If you didn't want, if you didn't like it, you didn't watch it. And that was it. Period. I, I got to be honest with you, man. I don't I don't know. I don't know if it's fully generational though, and I'll tell you why. I'm a, I'm a millennial man, and I could be the nicest person, but I could be the biggest douche walking this <laughs> earth. I was raised like when we came up, 
joking was a way to show you that I loved you. But how old are right. you? How old are I'm you? I'm 32. Okay, so you know I mean? it's, it's like if I didn't if I didn't clown you for doing something stupid <clears throat> or silly, or why do you think you finna wear flip flops to a wedding? <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like if I didn't get down on you, that means I didn't love you enough. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? And now you like. Since I've lived out here, man, what? Almost you were, 12 but you years came from now, the man. south. I'm from the south. Yeah, you know see, that's I mean? different. That's and, and, I'm and my people you, still go crazy. Yeah. Like even yeah. to this day, you know what I mean? One of my boys might get online and say the, the dumbest thing in the world. Yeah, bro. and yeah. I'm just like, all right, bro, I see you. Yeah, I'm you got to fire I'm back. About to expose you, <laughs> right? And he's like, man, chill, chill, man. You know what I mean? But yeah. it's like when I first moved out here, it happened to me, man. I mean, immediately, I was out here a few months. Somebody kept joking on all, you know, you so black and blah blah blah. And I'm like, man, look, at this point, I'm like 21. I accepted I'm going to be this dark when I was 13. And I was probably just going to get darker as time went on because the sun ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yeah. You got to come up with something better than my dark jokes. <laughs> but when I start hitting you back, don't cry. I have people physically crying. Yeah. And I'm like, wait. So you get to clown me about being black as night were and they, blending in. Were they younger than you? Okay, see, yep. so I don't yeah. think it's your yep. generation. Yeah. I don't think it is. Yeah. I think I think whoever's around 25 and below right now, I think those but are the I ones. Say this, though, I'm going to blame you. But Drew is partially right, though, because that's, that's why I said I, I can't figure it out. Because 50 to 75% of millennials are sensitive as hell. I don't. I don't get it. No. Yeah. It, no. It started. It started with you guys. It started but, with but, us. But yeah. I don't think. Yeah. I, I don't think it was soaked with yeah. you guys. I don't oh, think no, you guys no, were no, saturated no, with it. No. The generation after yours. Yeah. That's saturated yeah. with just. You, you can't even joke. Just pussies, dude. Yeah, you can't it's, joke at all. No. Yeah. No. And they. They. They are. I don't know if it's technology. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff we could go and talk about and blame it on, right? Because you you could you could just say, well, this is this is their world, so anything that shows up on this is what they believe, preach, and this this is their Bible, right? Right. That's true. So so they they're so inundated with that information, and it's so accessible, and anybody can, and, and because information is so accessible, anybody can put anything on it, right? They, yeah. Whether it's true or not, and you can you and I can draw up a picture right now, and we can we can craft a little something that has really legitimate little icons on it and yeah, symbols yeah, yeah. that make people go, man, that's legit. That's yeah, yeah, no, yeah. this was verified, yeah. you know, verified by the United States, whatever yeah, yeah, we can, yeah. we can do that and we can share it immediately. And there's so many gullible people out there. That they're going to buy into it, man. Every ounce of it. And they're going to start sharing it. Yeah. And they're going to start talking to friends about it. And then they'll start rioting over it yeah. and they'll start doing all this other yeah. shit. But I mean, <clears throat> we had to have some point. <clears throat> what do you, what do you think about the theory that, okay, so the, the these kids that we couldn't spank, Right. So the teachers didn't <laughs> the teachers lost power in the schools. Right. Because when I was in elementary school, my third grade teacher whooped my butt. He, he, yeah. My mom sent a letter in my own hand in my pocket for me to give to the teacher and said, I expect one back when you get home from school today from him. And I had to hand it to him. And it was a permission slip letting him whoop my ass if I acted bad in class. And yeah. he sent a letter back saying, well, thank you very much. I, I look forward to it. Yep. See, it <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I, I swiped a little, little foam toy when I was in kindergarten. I'll never forget it, man. Yeah. This teacher stapled the note to my shirt. What? <laughs> <laughs> like real talk. Man, you sta staple a child's certain nowadays. Oh, no. You oh, man, they, the whole family's going to ride on you. Yeah. You know? And my mom said, oh, Oh, so I taught you how to steal, huh? <laughs> Man, I'm gonna tell you something. I love it. I felt, I, love it. I felt my heart in the bottom of my feet. Uh -huh, you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh -huh. I could feel my feet throbbing. I knew I was dead. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna make it past kindergarten. Air started going into your yeah, butt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was so yeah. puckered up. You know what I mean? And it's like, she was like, "Man, you gonna apologize?" And I'm gonna send this note back. X Y Z. Yeah, I got my whooping. Yeah, I did what I. That was the last time I ever stole something. Yeah, I can promise you that. Yeah, you can't get me to touch it. If I if I ain't work for it or pay for it, you can't get me to touch it. Yeah, because I'm like <laughs> you learned. My mom's somewhere. You learned a lesson. Yeah, she right? she can see me somewhere. You, you, know had, what I mean? <laughs> you had the fear of God put into you, and that's yeah. the thing is that people all oh, well, we shouldn't use fear as a as a teaching tool to, with these children. No man, you have to. You uh, have oh, to. So we shouldn't, right? So let we, me go ahead and do this one then. Uh, so can we can we get all of our troops back and stop war and. All this other old bull crap since Right, because we, it's fear. We, we need to right? use we need to stop using fear. Right. How about stop using yeah. stop using religion as a fear base to scare people into doing what you want them to do? Right. You're gonna go to hell if you don't follow God. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna go to hell and burn in hell. It's not it's not fear. Just, yeah, you you putting fear into them versus how long have you known me? No. Quite a while. Yeah. I don't believe in religion. <clears throat> I'll tell the whole world a thousand times over again. Yes, I believe in God and Jesus Christ. Do I believe in religion? Absolutely not. Because religion yeah. wasn't created by Jesus. Right. It was created by man. Yeah. 
is fear based. So let's let's go ahead and get rid of all that. But how many people are going? Oh well, that's different. No, it's convenient for but you. Who was it? Uh, Book of Eli, right? Yeah. yeah. When the when the bad guy in the movie, he was like, "I got to find this book because they burned all the Bibles, all right?" The Bibles. So they took the word away, and this guy's like, "No, do you understand how powerful these words are? Mm-hmm. If I can read this, the week will follow." And he said it. The week yeah, he said it. will follow. Yeah. They, this will control millions and millions of the, week, the followers. Yes, yep. right, and that's what they do. So, but that, but that's a human nature. We we do take into our brain, and it, and it sticks. Right, yeah, it's yeah. branded in there. When we're afraid of something, I saw Jaws when I was a kid, like nine years old. Mm-mm. I still have a hard time going in the goddamn water. <laughs> I won't jump into a swimming yeah, no. pool that's at a fine hotel if the lights are off in it because I can't see in the water. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. That makes an impression yeah. on you, right? Yeah, exactly. So that works, right? And and a little spanking seriously. Come on, I'm not talking about going out and beating your children, silly. Close, you know, yeah. smacking them across the face with a closed fist, or you know, with something like. But you know, whooping somebody's butt where they got plenty of tissue, plenty of plenty, plenty yeah. of fat, plenty yeah. of muscle, yeah, and it stings. It stings. Yeah. I mean, I never it's, saw it's, anything wrong with it's that. Discipline, man. Yeah, discipline. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a reason and of course there's a fine line between discipline and abuse but right. it's just discipline i had this conversation this morning man uh the friend of mine who's a uh she's a psychologist major got her master's working her phd whatever case may be man and um we we had this exact same discussion this morning what are the odds i know what happens if you raise a child to never know fear a sociopath man yeah that, Absolutely, that, that's, that's what that is. Absolutely, they're not afraid of anything. That's kind they're of crazy. Invincible. I never they're, thought of it that invincible. way. I never thought of it that you know way. What I mean, we just had the same conversation, and a lot of people say, "Well, that's labeling and judging." That's uh, scientific fact. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I think, um, and we we always go into you know what I do for a living and stuff like that. But I see that stuff all the time, and half of um, the young men that are in my program, that's what it is. They they've never been scared. You know what I mean? They, everything is given to them, you know, hey, I'm in a group home. I deserve everything. Give me. Give me more. Well, and, and if you think of it, yeah, and the, the ones that are troublemakers aren't afraid of getting in trouble. No. <clears throat> oh, no, they, they, they aren't zero fear. They don't, right. zero fear. They don't know authority. Right. You know However, I mean? <clears throat> there are the other side who their parents did discipline, and they got disciplined so much Took it that – overboard. Well, not even overboard, okay. but in this in this um, society right now, mm-hmm. I mean, anything's overboard. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Anything, for sure. Anything. Yeah. Well, everything. it's per- they're perceiving it as overboard. Yeah, yeah, and, and so they're putting these kids in the system like that, and you know, you, you can't spank, you can't do any of that stuff, and you you got to feel sorry for them, and you got to be in therapy, and you, you <laughs> man, got man. you know, and it, it's. It's just a whole nother monster, and it, it pisses me off because I can't tell you how many times I almost put my hands on my son in terms of that because I grew up in Texas. I grew up in Texas. I, I specifically remember, like, one of my teachers, I was I was in first grade, and um, the teacher pissed me off because she made me get to the end of the line um, for, for something. I, she was a mu- music teacher. I, I know this because I remember it was traumatic for me. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> See, it left an impression on you. And, um, so, you, you know, under my breath, I called her, a, you know, a fucking bitch and how she knew that. I don't even know. <laughs> well, she's a music teacher. She heard the notes, <laughs> right? And she's like, what did you just say? And I was like, I didn't say anything. I didn't. What are you talking about? Music teachers I, were the ones that started I the, I don't hey, like man. your tone. Hey, 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 I yeah. do not like your tone, <laughs> mister. Hey, you better raise your voice. You, you, you better jazz raise your that voice. shit up. You better <laughs> jazz that shit up. Make it snappy. Give me another octave. <laughs> Give me another octave. <laughs> that was Tim's mom that said that shit. Bro. <laughs> you know she, uh, but you know, and uh, so eventually, you know, being in Texas and where I was at, they sent me to the the principal's office, and the principal would spank you. Oh yeah, the yeah. dean. Yeah, I got sent, the dean. Yeah, the sure, dean was the sure. guy and in my day. I yeah. absolutely refused. I refused. Yeah. I was not going to let another man spank me. And I, what I did is I said, <laughs> "Call my dad." And it was the biggest mistake I ever yeah, made in my oh life. God, I, I did my that. dad I did beat the living crap out yeah. of my ass. Yeah. And <clears throat> I, I could have just taken a, a hand swat 
on the on the booty, and Man, my dad came in with this belt, that, you know, dripping in oil and shit, just like ah! <laughs> dripping in oil. Oh, I'm like, I oiled it and lathered it up know? before I got here. I'm telling it's, you. <laughs> Remember when they used to display the paddle in the office? Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. They had the it was paddle on the wall. up there. Yeah, it was on the wall behind the desk. Yeah. So you'd be on first day hey, tour. You get hey, here. You can't go like call that Mister. Hey, you had a red. They have the shotgun in the window of the pickup truck. Yeah, yeah. You walk in the office, it was like this this grand paddle. Yeah, right behind us. Yeah, you could roll a boat with the goddamn thing. Yeah. Bro. It was Bro. huge. I used to roll around with a, a, a rowing paddle on my one of my Mustangs a long time ago because I was always getting in fights. Oh yeah, that hurts. And, <laughs> that hurts. and I, I was like, what is the best like non lethal weapon I can find? And I was going through Walmart and I, I found this wooden paddle and I was like. That is what I want. That's it. Hey, catch, I put I put some hockey tape on that. <laughs> Could you imagine, bro, catching somebody on the IT band? Oh no, <laughs> just, no, no, Say no, 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 no. Like no. somebody go to swing at you and you just, <laughs> just don't even it. block it. Just, <laughs> that's it, bro. That's, fight's over. I'm, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> You're not trying to get spanked by another man. Like, you you, 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 you go wake get, up some trauma, bro. You go wake up some that's trauma. It. That's that's what you, exactly what you do. Yeah, you wake Somebody up some pulls trauma. a paddle out of their car. Us at our age, we go, oh shit. Like, yeah, he, like, he, like, he for real, for real. Like, yeah, like, he don't even have a, he don't even have a gun. Yeah, he got like, a paddle, bro. Yeah, he got a paddle. Like, wait a minute, bro. Are, are you related to Dean Johnson? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't stand by me. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we, I had an hey, elementary school bro. dean. My, my dean in elementary school is Dean Johnson. Yep. You ain't related to him, bro, are you? Totally, bro. I, I totally feel like we should go back to that. You know, my personal opinion, man. Um, I, I wouldn't make that mistake. Not with Teresa, bro. Yeah, but she she came to the school and paddled me once because I yelled at a teacher. Who wrong, she actually wronged me, man. I was asleep and she was like, "Stop talking to my class." And I'm like. Yo, how am I talking with my head down when I'm asleep? <laughs> when I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm asleep. I'm like, you just, you blaming me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the way I was raised, you don't, you don't speak that way to an adult. Right. You know, you, you wait till class is over and yeah. then you go say, hey, you know, I wasn't talking, you know, how, how do we raise Try to you handle know, it yeah, amicably. Yeah, yeah. That's how my mom raised me. You know what I mean? But this, this fine day, you know. You're a I kid just, though. Yeah. I wasn't feeling it. Well. Yeah, that didn't matter to the reason. I think I was like, I think I was, I was I seven just calling her by her first yeah. name. I'm like, yeah. Well, I have to, man. You yeah. know, like, and that's what it looks. So when I talk to her, she's mom. When I talk to, you know, everybody else, she's Teresa. Because yeah. I'm like, listen, there's, there's God, Jesus, and Teresa. That's how that works. That's like, the, that's, that's the hierarchy, bro. Like, she breaks things down. You know and what I mean? And it just so happens that yeah. Mother Teresa, Mother Teresa <laughs> you, bro. was involved. Man, that woman, that woman came in there and said, put your hands on that desk. Ooh, uh, you got the ruler. Yeah, they, they called her. They uh, called her. They called her. Ooh. Uh, and I, yeah, I was like, man, I ain't really got much of a choice here. <laughs> I don't really know what to do. I can't man, run. That woman hit me three times, and my feet left the ground every single oh, time. Oh, I can imagine, man. Yeah, no, that's not oh, nice. She's strong, man. You know, <laughs> but and I'm just like, but here's the thing, and a lot of people can say, oh my god, you, know, you got abused. I stayed out of trouble. I stayed out of a lot of trouble. Well, man. and there it is. Okay, you know so I this mean? is this is going to bring us around to a big old circle here. Yeah, ready? Yeah, yeah. Which okay, is why so, we're here. So someone said you were abused. They put a label on it. Yeah, right. Basically, and this is one thing that we talked about that we were going to talk about today. Some labels, right? So mm-hmm. someone calls it abuse. Is it abuse? It it it's a I I guess it's a personal matter. Yep. You know what I mean? It's, but is it, it abuse generally? Like when you talk to me. And you're yelling, and you're pissed off. You make me feel like this big. You're abusing me. Yeah. Right. Sure. It's happened many times. And <laughs> I'm kidding. Nobody's ever made you feel this big. <laughs> I might have felt this big, but still this big. Yeah. <laughs> that don't change. It just I, makes I you look short, funnier. but I stayed wide. I stayed wide. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the whole concept of abuse is subjective. Um, to individuals, you know what I mean? And it could be emotional abuse. It could be physical abuse. It could be, you know, sexual abuse. But is, but is there a point where we need to go, okay, here's the tolerance level. If you're feeling abused below that tolerance, uh, 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 if something is not quite there yet, Mm -hmm. right? Like if I tell you go do the dishes or you're going to be grounded, well, that's Mm -hmm. verbal abuse. Or is that just me telling you 
<clears throat> go do the dishes. Go do the dishes, or you're gonna your ass is gonna get in trouble. But that's where we go back to that generate generation. Right. X, yeah, that's right. It changed. And it changed. it's perception, yeah. right? It's, yeah. it's like, perception. I don't have. I don't want to do that. Right. I don't have to do and, that. And what are you, you gonna do? Gr- yeah, and you can't ground me. Yeah, you right. know what I mean. But now we yeah. brought up yeah, that yeah. word abuse, right? Yeah. Someone else hears that word, and now they're concerned oh, about yeah, it because sure. now it's sure. someone has said that word, and now the word's being used multiple times. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, that your son claimed that you abused him last night. You know, that, that, that you threatened him. Yeah. Well, absolutely I did. I told him we didn't do the dishes. I was going to whoop his butt. Yeah. Well, okay, so you did threaten him? Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> now you've, you've taken the word abuse, and now you're taking a, a label of a threat as well. I guess if you really want to get into Webster's Dictionary and, and, and define what I did as a threat, absolutely. But how are you perceiving that word threat, right? Are you, are you perceiving that word threat as I'm going to – I'm threatening him with his life, with physical bodily damage that's going to retain, last for days, weeks, months, or did I just threaten him to do the right thing? Because I don't have to tell you more than once, right? Right, and, well, I, and I've already told you three times. So do the dishes, or I'm going to whoop your butt. According to the state, the way that works is you can tell a kid that the kid complain complains right right mm-hmm. he complains there's an investigation said, he yep. says he was threatened like you said the caseworker or the investigator comes in and said okay you threaten him what what did you mean by that you mean you're going to hurt him and then like you said it it snowballs yeah. into right. different words right. all the way down to the point where your kids no longer in your home no and because all, all over a disciplinary all because, action. Because you're a bad dad because you don't want your kid acting like an asshole. Because I was trying to teach him to do the dishes when I tell him the first time instead of the third time. Yeah. Now I'm a bad parent. Yeah. Right. And, and this but, is this but, is my favorite that everybody yeah. ignores. Because guess what? He maintains that type of behavior. Right. He goes and get a job, a corporate job. He'll go, he'll go get a collar job. Okay. Your boss is going to tell you how many times. Right. Because what do we teach him? You gonna get mad and punch him in the face if he fires you? Are you going to shoot up the office? What are we going to? What, but what well, are we teaching him? No. All, we, you, you all we're teaching, I mean? all we're teaching him is that. Oh, I just now I just have to find the, the avenue, the point of contact that I just go say. Least, my boss is now resistance. My boss is now threatening me. Yep. My boss is is to, so mm-hmm. now in order to get away with doing whatever you want, Basically, right? Yeah. Because if someone gets upset at you for your actions or your inactions, okay, now all you have to do is say, "Oh well, I don't feel." Safe. Yeah, you using the I feel statements yeah. and right. shit. Yeah. Like, right. Yeah. I feel threatened. uncomfortable and right. threatened. Right. Oh. And y- you know, and in in go ahead. Yes. Yeah, go, oh, Tim, go. I've been waiting on this. Do it. Do we it. had this conversation so long ago and he don't even remember it. He don't even remember it. Let me, let me tell you when the world changed. Okay. You gonna remember this statement. Okay. When we started putting logic sorry, emotions before yes. logic and reasoning. That's when this country changed. Yep. I remember that. You remember the conversation in the garage? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's when everything changed. Yeah. I'm really not feeling good today. Yeah. And yeah, I'm no. really mad, so I'm going to treat you like shit. Yeah. And I'm going to make you feel bad. And if you do anything, I'm going to tell on everybody. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. yeah. And I should be able to get anything I want by doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't give it to me, then my feelings are hurt, and you're just racist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. For sure. <laughs> you're yeah. you're just picking on me because you don't like me. Right. Okay. And that's where we're landing like, today in like, this world. You're talking to your own kid and, you know, you're talking to me because I'm racist. You're racist. Dude, you're you're the same color as me. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, and, 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 not like, to take, and not to take away because I'm sure Tim has yeah. experienced it a hundred thousand times. There are people out there that are going to treat a brother differently. There are people out there that are racist. They have a little bit of that left in them or whatever the case may be, or they just, they've had a bad experience. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Okay. I, I, I see a wo- an Asian woman driving and I'm like, oh, I've got to get the fuck away from that. Yep. <laughs> or, or, they're, or they're like, I need to get the fuck away from you. <laughs> or they're, or they're exactly. like, I need to get the fuck away from you. Right there. Yeah. But, right. But does that make me a racist? Does that mean that I hate Asians? Does that mean that I have a problem with? No, it's, it's factual, man. Like you, you yeah. typically don't drive very well. You're very short. You can't see over. <laughs> and see, and, and plain and simple for you're all, digging all, 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 all you don't want to know. Oh, oh, we just man. lost all Bro. Asian listeners. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, <laughs> right, don't worry. There's like two yeah. billion of them. But what I'm saying is, but what I'm super, saying is, super sensitive what, ass people. Every every stereotype is derived from something, man. Right. Dude, you know what Everybody, I mean? Like, like, come on, dude, let's be real here. Right. You know, uh, well, uh, you assume I want a grape soda because 
I'm black. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Great show cool. is good. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, you know what I was just going to say, Drew? Tell me how many black people you know hate it. <laughs> right, exactly. I, I can't tell I, you I one that doesn't like bro, watermelon. Bro. I can't tell you like bro. orange soda. Bro, I, none of it. Bro, I just pulled do, up to right? a drop yeah. the other day, man. And I was like, yo, let me have a Powerade. Let me get the blue one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and he was like, so when I pull up to the window, this is what he said to me. He said, look, bro. You didn't have I, to he say said, blue. He said, he, said, he, said, he, said, he said, I made a mistake, man. And uh, so he's a brother. He was like, I only got, he said, I only got two, two flavors left. He said, I got raspberry grape <laughs> and I got grape. Which one you want? I like, bro. Grape is cool, bro. I'm straight with it. You know what I mean? But I'm like, dude, let's be real here. You know? Yes, yeah. I love watermelon. I love fried chicken. I'm from the south. I don't care if, whether I'm from the south or not. I love yeah. fried chicken bro, and watermelon. Does bro, that make me black? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you black, Mike. Let's be real. You black. Mike's Mike's the real black. <laughs> Look, man. My my thing is this, man. If we're gonna keep getting caught up. On so so many emotions. I saw this post that you actually made today. I just so happened to catch it. The kids? We, no, we're gonna stay in this weakened state. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, everything's yeah, gonna yeah. keep crumbling. Yeah, you know what? Because everybody's just emotion, emotion, emotion. Yeah. And just like we could have fun talking about this, right? Yeah. But you could put three other people of the same race in a room who don't have a twisted sense of humor or see life for what it is, and or just yeah. are, aren't gonna take shit so goddamn so personal yeah, and so personal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and. Now it's a shit show. They ready to kill each other. Oh, there's already people that have yeah. turned this off. I guarantee yeah. you. There are, there's yeah, yeah, already people that have yeah. been listening to this podcast and have since and, shut and, it off. And, and they know already. they know where we're going. But yeah. they yeah, know yeah, where we're yeah, pointing at. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but so I'll, I've been thinking about this for quite a while, and you might be the perfect person to ask. As a successful black business owner, just just an all around good guy. What? I mean, what what are you getting from all this? I mean, do you get pulled over on the highway and do you feel threatened? Do you? I mean, how can you not? Well, well and but that that's, isn't. But it? that's but that's not where that's not where the problem lies. The problem isn't in the fact that that he ha- of course he's going to be labeled. Of course he's going to be. Yeah. You know, right. he, it's going to. Well, happen. I'm not. I'm not second guessing it. I'm asking for your yeah. your own. Well, my, my honest truth, man. Look, so. <clears throat> I grew up in Batesville, Mississippi. I was just having this conversation the other day again, and I'm, that's why I'm glad I'm doing this podcast so I can get all this shit out of my system. Uh, so I told my sister about this. She never even knew what happened, but I got pulled over uh, because I was this black guy who fit a description who was running through the back of, you know, white people's yards, and my aunt lived in the neighborhood, and I was going, you know, to pick up one of my cousins, but I didn't realize he wasn't, you know, he wasn't home. So I, I drove by this cop. I'm all the way in town at this point. He follows me all the way in town, then pulls me over and says, well, you fit the description of, this guy who was wearing all, you know, black guy wearing all the black. Typical, yeah, the typical, typical, bullshit, the typical description, you know I mean? yeah. Right. And so <clears throat> that's happened multiple times. You know, racism has happened to me since I've lived out here. I have my car illegally searched when I work for this company, a whole bunch of stuff. I've even had friends recently reach out to me and apologize. You know, Tim, I didn't know. And like I told Mike, look, that's not what I want. Don't do that shit to me. Don't right. try to, like, pity me and poor Tim. Yes, racism has happened to me. But here's the thing. And I'm. This, I'm is, speaking, important. I'm, this I'm speaking, is important. This is important. Here's speaking for here's myself, where here's man. where I'm. This is where I'm going to go. Look, I, I can already tell you he's going to say and, it. And this this is where I'm speaking from. Yes, it's happened. It's going to continue to happen. Mm-hmm. But here's the catch. If I already know that I'm a walking target, why am I going to give you reason to attack me? Now, a lot of people say, "Oh, well, you're you're afraid, Tim." Okay, I will tell you what. Unless you got some some real crazy hands on you, and you better be pushing three hundred pounds, <laughs> you you better be. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I mean, don't, every, everywhere he, I go, he's man. He's talking to me. Hey, like, hey I'm telling you. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm serious, man. Like, hey, I'm, I'm serious because I'm I'm gonna snatch the sh- shit out of you. I, the, like my first instinct is to shut my brain off and snatch the shit out of you. You know what yeah. I mean? Because I still got kids to go home to. Everywhere I go, whether it's my sister, somebody I'm with, they're like, man, why are people staring at you? I'm like, I don't know. Shit. Some people have asked me if I'm a pro ball player. Some people, because I have wide shoulders and a big back and XYZ. But am I going to freak out on them? Because in my mind, I I already know this. I I told you about this. Guy called me a slave when I worked at the Broadmoor. I'm calling for what it is. Call me a slave. Damn. Now, if I'm 225 pounds, (laughs) you you, you know what I call it. You you know me. What what do I look like doing this 60 plus year old? Short little white guy through a wall because he called me a <laughs> right. slave. Like, like, let's be real, man. You look like the bad yeah. guy. 
Well, I'm, I'm going to be the bad guy, man. Well, and, 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 here's, and here's here's where it all boils down to, right? And it's not it's not it's not your fault that people are fucked up. It's yeah. not it's not it's not your fault that people are fucking stupid and ignorant. Yeah. And 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 want to fucking throw around labels and shit like that. But here's the power that you have, right? Here's the power that everybody has. These little fucking goddamn whatever generation it is that that's that's coming up now, twenty five or younger. I'm talking to you. You guys are given more fucking power to all of this antiquated bullshit than I've ever seen from any generation. I thought we were progressing. We were progressing. We were we were coming up. And yes, there's always going to be somebody. Yeah. Yeah, Tim yeah. lives next door to a dude, uh, two doors down from a dude who's just a fucking idiot, right? Yeah. And Tim says, "Yeah, the dude's got a problem. You know, fucking, he's, he's always got a problem. It's it's because I'm fucking black or whatever the case may be. You know, I think he's a racist, but it, it's what it is what it is. And that right there gives t- t- told me everything I need to know about Tim. It is what it is. Fuck him. Yeah. Okay. So what you just did was you just took his power away. You didn't give. You didn't breathe more life into that hatred." Yeah, no. Right. Which is what he wants, which is what hatred wants. Hatred wants to be just exposed and, and graffitied and fucking shown on news and shown on Facebook and spread everywhere and yeah. talked and about. And down down down. And I, made him, I damn near made him have a heart attack about a few days ago. Yeah. I, I was training Lucian and no bullshit. Him and his wife pulls up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I stood outside of the garage, put my hand on the rim of the garage door. And I was like. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I, was Hi, like, hey, I was like, hey, man. I was like, hey, I hope you're having a blessed morning. You know, hey, he slowed down, stopped. Then he got out of his car. I said, hey, it's good to see you guys this morning. I'm in, I'm having a great, oh, great I morning. I'm in a great mood. I wasn't picking on him. Part of me was. Yes, but you were. Part of me was. But, <laughs> you know, I, I was just really having a great morning. I, I mean, I slept good. And I was like, man, I hope y'all have a great day. He put his hands on his hip and just stared at me. I said, well, it don't look like you're having a great morning. I'm sorry. I guess you're not. But have a blessed day. I'll talk to you later, yeah. old man. And went back in. Stifled him. Yeah. Stifled him. Yeah, he Shut him down. Do. He, just, he just looked. Yeah. He didn't know what to do. And the dude's a hey. dick. The dude's a dick because there was times when I was working out over there at Tim's yeah. and I'd pull up to the house and I'd get out of my truck and he'd look yeah. at me and he knows where I'm going yeah. and he'd look at me and shake his head like yeah. this. Yeah. And yeah. I just looked at him and I laughed at him. Almost like he's disgusted that Mike's coming to my house. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean? And I, 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 I do have a neighbor like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think, sure, I think man. I probably talked about it a lot of times over the course of all this, but, um, he, he, he was in Vietnam, white oh, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it was just it, it took a long time because my wife's Hispanic. But you my, killed him with kindness, didn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean I'm shoveling his his um sidewalks. I'm you know, asking him if he needs anything, I'm helping him with anything possible. Now the guy won't stop calling me. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, asking if my kids can help him, asking if, you know, Antoinette wants, you know, something out of his house, which is like super random, like a weird ass like lamp or some shit like that. Like, <laughs> like but, but what you did, but what you did, and what the, and, and what your guy's going to experience too, and what, what probably a lot of people have experienced. I know I have. There's been people that I couldn't stand, didn't know them from Adam, just didn't like the way they looked. Some mm-hmm. just you know you know how that is. Some, just yeah. something about you just rubs me the wrong way. And then all of a sudden, this person's super nice to you, mm-hmm. and then they do nice things to you, and then and, and you're still trying to hold on to that. Fuck, nah, fuck you, man. Yeah, I don't want your. I don't want your. I don't want your pie. Yeah, yeah no. I don't want your. It looks delicious, <laughs> no, but I ain't gonna no, fucking no, eat your pie. No, I'm not hungry no, right no, now. No, not no. hungry. You'll never fucking find me hungry. <laughs> Come back in an hour. Right. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck your pie. Right? <laughs> so, but but no, you but you but you and then all of a sudden somehow some way you you know you find a little piece of pie on your table and you know okay maybe maybe. maybe Maybe he didn't bring it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. It was really good. And I got to ask him, hey, man, that pie was like a delicious <laughs> little pie, Thank bro. you for that. <laughs> yeah. You can bring that shit to me. Yeah. Yeah. And all of a sudden, now you're friends, right? Because yeah. why? Because he didn't let hatred overcome him. He didn't feed it. He didn't feed that monster. He didn't breathe life into it anymore. It, it, it had to dissipate on its own. Well, that's what the kids nowadays, that's what this whole bullshit with Antifa, the Black Lives Matter, and I'm sorry, I don't give a fuck. Black Lives Matter is just another fucking gang. You could, you could put yeah. Ku Klux Klan, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, fucking MS-13, you could put them all in a fucking row, and they all have the same common goal, the same it's common belief is that we, we are the ones that fucking, you know, we, we got it right, you got it wrong, right? Well, see, and, and this, is, this has been my running argument, man, and, and I'm, I'm happy to say this, I'm so happy to say this. Call me an Uncle Tom. You can call me a sellout. Call me a coon. Call me whatever you want to call me. What's the end goal? Nobody can tell me. Mm-hmm. I, I want one person to tell me with this entire movement, right? I had this conversation with you. 
what do you think you're going to get your 40 acres in a mule? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, no, I'm just curious. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm just really curious. Yeah. Because let's be real here, right? We're going to be real. How much do we owe to China? <laughs> oh, O W E. So if we owe an entire another country, what the fuck you think you finna get? Right. <laughs> where, 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 where are they finna dig this money up from? This this compound interest from sixteen hundred. I'm I'm just curious. Oh, they'll print like, it. Just being just being realistic. They just print right? it. Yeah. They just yeah, print. He's gonna print it all. Put know? us in debt. Yeah. Because yeah. cause the money loses value every single time they print it. So mm-hmm. my thing is this, and and everybody says, well, I just, you know, <clears throat> I just want to be equal. Cool. What's your definition of equal, though? I'm curious to know. Now, a lot of people say, well, you know, Tim, you're not fighting for the black cause. And everybody lately has been bringing up a lot of, you know, black Wall Street and black this and black that and black. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, um, you know, are are you going to start a black Wall Street and not let any other race purchase or add to your new society. I'm I'm just curious, but we're supposed to be fixing this problem as a whole. Right. But we need just black. Well, see, you're racist. See, see, I, see now I'm cuz I read the definition today of reverse racism and I'm I'm kind of scheming on it cuz I'm I'm talking against my own people technically speaking is <clears throat> bullshit, but <laughs> <laughs> moving moving on. <clears throat> like I said, man, look. It, Martin Luther King was in 1968, right? Yeah, 68. He was killed. Okay. That is a window of at least 40 years, even if you started in the 80s, 30 years, if y'all wanted another black Wall Street so bad. And this is not just towards black people. But I see so many people spending money on rims. On I, I, I've watched people wait hours for a new pair of Jordans and mm-hmm. a new PlayStation. People have, bro, he's working at Radio Shack. Three days prior to Black Friday, with a tent and chairs, camped out, camped out, camped yeah. out right? It's insane. And it goes right back to that. I talked to you about this. You get mad at me for how I spend my money, but I'm supposed to be okay with you partying and having sex yeah. and da 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 da. And and it's all, in my opinion, it's all racial too, because a lot of stereotypes. And you know, I'm in this sociology class. It's a socioeconomic issue too. So a lot of money ties into this. So it's like. Can somebody please explain to me, since everyone is so pissed off, what's the end goal? Because I see this one of two ways. Either every black person is going to get every single thing they want, right? Never happen. All right? Not going to happen. Not a human being on earth is ever going to get it's everything. Not gonna, it's not going to happen. It's not going <clears> to <throat> happen. Nope. Or number two, you're actually going to distribute equality across the board as a whole. Also not going to happen. Because then you start walking into socioeconomic classes. 1% ain't finna give you shit. Exactly. They're not. Yeah. Exactly. The 0.4% ain't finna give you shit. I'm telling you now. Stop. It's, it's not finna happen, man. There's never, ever, 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 fucking ever going to be universal equality. No. There's not. And it has nothing to do with skin color. It has nothing to do with any of that Gender, stuff. race. No, yeah. None of that matters. Man. I, I'm sorry. But men are genetically stronger than women. If I take a 150-pound man and a 150-pound woman and put them in the gym for two weeks lifting, the man's going to come out stronger than the woman every goddamn time. He naturally has a higher level of testosterone. It's nature just that nature yeah. has its ways, right? The, the only reason why his color is different than mine is by what a, a one, one millionth of a blah, 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 of your genetic code that is made up has just changed his pigmentation, and that's it, Right. Now, what makes him a better athlete than me? Well, that was your racism. Yeah, that no, was, no, that, no, oh, no, no, we had this conversation. That was, that was, oh, that no, was, that no, was we, racism. Oh, we had yeah. this conversation. Man. That, was, <laughs> that was slavery so, that makes him a better athlete and, and, than and me. And a buddy of mine. Yeah. Who's, it does. You know, I'm yeah, sorry. I'm going to call it for what it is because I, I, I hate doing this because I hate that label shit. And I, I even tell people, I can't stand having to say, my white buddy Mike. <laughs> we shit, don't do it. We don't do it. We don't do it. shit drives me nuts, bro. That's my boy Mike because if shit hits the fan... Hey, white yeah. buddy Mike, man, you know I'm in trouble. Can you come help me fight? <laughs> white buddy, <laughs> fuck. Come on, man. I'm sorry. Well, you've like, reached the Hispanic bro, Mike. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong number, Tim. <laughs> Other Mike. My my hair, when you, you, say, when you say white, <laughs> yeah, do you mean Irish Mike? Which, or which, do you yeah. which, English which, Mike? Which, which, which one is it? Yeah. And it, so it's like, like based upon what you just said, right, is so, you know, this, this new big riot thing is um, about, well, you know, 
they traced all of the DNA back to Adam, and he was originally a black man. Okay, cool. That's 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 great. Who did that? Apparently, and where the fuck did they get it? Well, apparently all these scientists did, and you know, whatever the color he was, I I, I don't I don't care about his color. That's neither here nor there. Completely irrelevant to me. Go read a book. Two hundred fifty million or billion years ago, before tectonic plates shifted and seven continents were created, we were all in one spot. Based upon where you ended up, you had to adapt due to sicknesses, due to like it's called evolution. climate change. Yeah, it's yeah. Called evolution. Your, your body will adapt naturally to any stress placed upon it. Don't matter. Pigmentation is going to be created more, of course, because people in Africa, guess what? They got to survive. Lock a baby okay. in a, lock a baby in a room with no light for ten years. Yeah. It can't see shit, but it'll hear everything. You'll hear every single thing. It'll smell what you're thinking. Knows mm-hmm. when you' about to fart before you fart. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to call evolution, it what it man. Is. It's human. That's, that's it's what human it is, body. Man. I'm not going to tell you when I'm farting. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to. So, we know. <laughs> but, but, no and, I, and, I this, but, and I had this conversation with somebody. Now, most people will say, well, only reason he's in the league because he's black. All right. So now you're mad about that because <laughs> you just need something to be mad about. But a buddy of mine, and you got you to gotta think about this. Let's say Mike played video games for the rest of his life, right? He's going to be he, transparent, right? He played video games. Now, a lot of people don't even take this stuff into account, and this has been scientifically proven. Your child that you have might genetically have, as stupid as it sounds, naturally strong-ass thumbs. (laughs) Because it begins to build into your DNA. It it, it codes you. It codes you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have people running all the damn time, uh, picking cotton all the damn time, Lifting shit all the damn. What do you think is going to happen 400 years later? Yeah. Genetically speaking, you're not going to catch them. You're not going to outlift them. You're not going to outpower them. And then you're mad because you, you, mad. you upgraded this. You upgraded this situation. You know what I mean? And I, can't, I can't catch them. Hey, fuck. And, and, and what do we, Damn you, great, 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 Bro, and what do you to tell you? Bro, and like, think about it. What does the average white person say of a black dude walking to a gym? Oh, fuck. Uh, man, shit. I ain't got, I'm not what even going to get it. Okay, get over, man. Man. What, what, what does the average white dude say when a black dude t- walks up to his girlfriend? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mad as hell. You know what I mean? Oh, oh damn. damn. Shit, man. Uh, ready to kill the whole. She world. about to never go back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that, I mean? that, that's when you bro. just you wave the white flag and you just like, right, you, you just you yeah, just that's, take that's it. You, bro. It's, yeah, it's good. Yeah. The whole point of the thing is, on, and, and, and and really, honestly, like as succinctly good as you could do it, if you stop labeling everything and you stop labeling yourself as a victim, and I'm talking to you kids, man, stop labeling yourselves as a victim. You ain't never been a slave in your life. You've never been a slave in your life. You don't deserve reparations. Not a, nobody alive right now deserves reparations. Not the none of the Indian. Well, the Indians are kind of still getting fucked. I guess they they, they got them on reservations and yeah. giving them alcohol and casinos, and that's kind of fucked up. But, but yeah. <laughs> here, go gamble you can have drink. anything you want as long as you stay there, <laughs> right? Yeah. But but honestly, if you stop labeling labeling yourself as a victim and start re- realizing your own potential and that no one out here not you. me, not that guy, not not and it doesn't matter if he's black, white, whatever. Those are human beings that are fa- that you're that are opposing you, that are that you're facing, you know, some 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 adversity against, whatever the case may be. If you turn to yourself and quit pointing fingers out here and just look at yourself and have confidence in yourself and believe that, you know what? You can't stop me from doing anything I want to do. I'm not oppressed. I'm not yeah. I'm not anything. All I am is all I am is ignorant to well, my I, own abilities, to my own future. Because right now what you're doing and you're doing you're burning buildings and you're tearing down fucking statues of our history, you're doing all this shit. All you're doing is ruining your own future because you're you're building a lie. None of this is going to do you any good. This is going to come back on you, man. We live in the age of technology. Yeah, Everybody's look, got a picture of your ass doing look, it. I, what is it what what this comes down to in my opinion? People of opportunity. That's what it is. People of opportunity. I mean, oh, everything's going to shit. Hey, that's a nice TV over there. I saw that. I saw a group of white guys looting a, um, I think it was a Target. It had like eight TVs stacked oh, yeah, for up. Sure. Infinite, infinite sale show, I was right? like, what? Yeah, now yeah. that guy, now that yeah. guy goes and like this. That guy goes, oh man, I just scored eight TVs. I'm the man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not realizing that, no, you were just put in a situation where they knew you were going to do that. And now you're feeding the propaganda More and the bullshit. rhetoric that fucking More. everybody talks about. And I, can't nobody answer this question for me either. Everybody thinks 
the protests are over, right? They're not. They're not. They're not. They're, they're getting farther. They're not. They're getting bigger they're going and stronger. On today. Yeah. But here's here's the thing, because nobody's breaking shit anymore, they won't post it on on the news. Well, no, they're they're tearing they're, down statues. They're oh, tearing, it's also statues. Oh, okay. No, they're they're going and t- tearing down national monuments. They're talking mm. about fucking tearing down Lincoln's monument. Yeah. Well, so and this is they so, already burned the one of the statues of yeah. Lincoln. This is what this I mean, this was my issue though. This this is my biggest issue, and. I don't. I don't care how whoever decides to take it. If you have this conversation with me in private or in public, I'm gonna tell you the same thing. Whoever made up reverse racism, good job, because you started a bigger shit show than you could ever believe. Whoever created that term, there's no such racism, thing as reverse racism. Is racism yep, is yep, racism yep. is racism. So let's say, and uh, uh, shit, I love my people. I love all people. I just. Told my buddy this morning, bro. And, look, and by the black way, people are beautiful. They got beautiful skin. We cook good. We eat good. We dance good. We you sing age, good. You we, age. We don't age. By the way. You know what I mean? Black don't crack. Like, Morgan like, Freeman is like the sexiest no. son of a bitch in the world. <laughs> I love that dude. Dude got to be almost hundred years old. Like, right. you know what I mean? Everybody loves Morgan Freeman. Like, dude. Yes, I'm black. Yes, shit happens. Yes, people are racist. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but. Are you going to tear down every statue and put up all black statues? Because he, by definition, that's still racism. Yeah. No, you don't give mm-hmm. a shit how you cut that cookie. It that, don't it don't matter and that's unless you're going to tear every single thing down, which really ain't going to really change a hill of beans. Cause, and that's that's why I asked the question that I ask. What is the end game here? Because if you tear every statue down. Right. And let's be real. How many black people? I'm just curious. You know, y'all can hit me up. Message me if you choose to just just make sure you read first. Okay. Be ready. I, I want. And I don't care what race you are. Make sure you read first. I'm telling you now. Read first, because I can tell you of at least a hundred events that have never hit a history book in schools. Oh, absolutely. And I've not seen one person of color, unless they're a teacher, go and complain that why aren't you telling the real story about slavery? Okay. Yeah. Why haven't we pitched a fit about that? I'm curious. You okay with them deleting certain parts of history, but now that this opportunity is here, now we have to tear down every statue. We have to tear down my thing is this, right? If if my life is not interrupting yours, and a lot of people say, Well, Tim, I can't believe you'd say that. I can't. Keep your damn Confederate flag. I don't give a shit about your Confederate flag. How does your flag affect my money? Like how does it affect exactly. me bringing up my children? Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you go drive yourself in a gator pit, then good luck. Shit. You, I mean, that's you and your Confederate flag. As long as you keep that shit in your bubble and don't give me a reason to have to defend myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, I know injustices have happened. There are a lot of situations that didn't balance out. It just seems like this has been <laughs> like this. What a damn Mentos in a Coke bottle waiting to happen, bro. It just seems like everything is boiled up for so long because nobody chose to address it. And now that it's being addressed, it's being addressed in one of the worst ways possible. Oh, Period, point blank. We took 12 yeah. steps backwards. You know what man, I mean? It's, it's being addressed in one of the worst mm-hmm. ways possible. You know what I mean? And, and of course, tr- Trump don't really help a bunch of shit with some of the shit he say and do. But my thing is this, man. And somebody made a really great point to me. If African Americans, I, I'm kind of like sideways about statistics anyway. If we only make up 12 percent of America, right? And what is it like 70 percent white? I don't even think that's accurate. I, I, I don't I, think I, it is I, either. I, I that's why that's I said, way that's, off. They're, yeah, that's, they're saying eight or 13 uh, percent or 18 percent. Yeah, it's, uh, it's some goofy man. I would have thought yeah. even I would have thought that was even low. But yeah. okay, yeah. It's, it's, right. it's, it's, to me, it's it's a number. I, I feel like it's stu- that's yeah. why I say it's stupid. Yeah. So are you going to, and it goes right back to this black Wall Street thing, are you just going to march as all black people because black lives matter or are you going to march as all people? Because the way I've been looking, everybody in the world is pitching in to help, okay? So don't make this this isolated thing to where once you finally get what you want, now no other race matters or, you know, now I get to be mad at another brother because in, you know, and of course things I'm not going to dismiss this because I feel like it needs to be said. A lot of shit is environmental, no matter how you Mm -hmm. cut that cookie either. If you grew up in the hood, when you, on average, you know to walk past another black person with your chest big, 
and your head up. Yeah. But you might get bullied. You know yeah. what I mean? But that happens in school too. With happens kids in, in kindergarten. White, happens in yeah, white yeah, neighborhoods yeah, too. You know what I mean? And so, and that's just my thing. Gary it's like, fucking tear. It's, it's, to me, this is a, it's a very, very sticky situation that got way too far out of control and it didn't have to. And, and the reason why that, ha- why that got out of control like that yeah. is because there's a fear now to speak up yeah. against anything Period. that that people are offended by. Yeah. Yeah. That that's yeah. exactly what it is. Okay? And it doesn't matter if you're w- what color you are, whatever you're offended by, it doesn't matter it doesn't even have to be a, an issue of race. Let's talk sexuality. Now, oh, for sure. now you can't you can't be against homosexuality and be anti that if it's against your religion, against anything else because you're going to fucking be labeled as fucking what is it uh, homophobic yeah you're going to be labeled as this that or the other so what we're doing is we're just creating labels of hatred basically okay you can't what what do you call a a white guy who has black friends asian friends mexican friends and and homosexual friends what do you call them oh there's no fucking label for that (laughs) oh there's no label for that hey god but but, but my point is yeah yeah yeah, for sure why, why don't we start labeling some good shit why are we labeling everything negative? Why why is it that we have to just breathe life and feed this monster of negativity by putting words to it, by breathing life into it, by showing it on Facebook, by doing whatever the fuck you know you're doing, however you're giving it life. You didn't know Tim was black when I told you he was coming on the podcast. No, no. And it, my didn't, it wouldn't matter if I did know. My yeah, yeah. my girlfriend didn't know you were black, okay? Because I don't label it. Yeah. I don't label that shit. I don't need to. What the fuck for? And black that's, Tim? And that's just a thing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Black Tim. Black Tim, black, white black Mike. Tim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? And that's just a thing, man. It's like, just like what you're saying, though. Along those lines, Labels man, it's, are it's, negative. It's, I'm telling you, labels are super negative, man. Like, it, it, it's not, honestly, it's, it's never necessary. So, <laughs> just like this whole, like, you can't say things about, you know, the LBGT. I'm going to stop right there because I don't know. How that all spins LGBTQ. Out. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, and like, <laughs> I'm always cautious because, you know, you don't want to offend somebody. And just because, you know, I don't know how to identify you based upon how your voice sounds doesn't mean I'm insensitive. Does that, does that, is that how we want to be though? Do we want to be yeah, to where like, we don't I gotta walk want on to offend shells. someone? Yeah, yeah. Everywhere we go, you know, and then, then I can't tell you the truth. Because I'm going to offend you. And now people are like, well, you're a liar. Well, if I tell you the truth, you're going to try to get me locked up. But you want me to be honest, which typically turns into what? Oh, now you're being a dick. Well, don't ask well, me a question I mean, if you don't want to be Think about it. I mean, it, it, like back in the day, they had um, colored only bathrooms. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean? And only white people here. You can only use this uh, water faucet or, you know, yeah. all the way around. What happened if we, we go, oh, you, there's your gay bathroom. Oh, forget it. Oh, no, you better don't, don't, shit. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, right. That's a horrible idea. There, there, there's your gay bathroom. Yeah. Well, so and <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. okay. Well, here's yeah. here's the thing. I know some gay people that would go fucking a. Yeah, that's I'm all about that shit. Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly why. No, no but I mean, well, no, but I mean, but that's a way you could look at it, right? If you label that as racism or homophobia, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, now you just you don't want us in your bathroom, no, motherfucker. What if what if you just looked at it this way? We get our own shit. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, we looking, got our yeah. own shit. Yep. Fan fucking tastic. Look at it in a positive light. Label it as a good thing. Say, yes, we finally got, now there's men, women, and gays, whatever the case may be. Now we got our own shit. We got da 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 But don't, don't try to. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Man, man, look, man. But don't try to take, you, you don't me. try to take somebody else's shit and turn it into your shit when, and then say, because they don't want to give you their shit, say that they're fucked up. Don't don't yeah. label it as a fucked up situation. Take your situation and make whatever the fuck you well, want man, out of it. It's, it's just like that blanket punishment thing, though, man. So it's like you know what's what's the name of this damn movie? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm I'm on here now. And Talk I about remember. it. What is it? Fucking it was it was this movie that was made to basically criminalize all black people, all black men per se. Uh, the birth of a nation, birth of a nation. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. So that movie started a whole array of bullshit, mm-hmm. and so now. And I always tell people this: if you ever pay attention, most movies, That's a heavy you know, ass movie. yeah, in the nineties and early two thousands, if it was a black person in a the movie, they you know were a thug, rapper, blah 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 blah, whatever the case may be. But if you see one in a business suit, you know he's a sellout, he's this, he's that, Uncle Tom, well, yeah, you know whatever the case may be. But it's like okay, so I'm a dick because I don't want my kids to grow up watching my mom struggle to take care of three kids by 
by herself. So that makes me an ass, right? And a sellout and Uncle Tom. No, what it is is you're you, not you allowed to progress unless I get yeah, to, yeah, too. Yeah, no, for sure. Or you need to give me what you got, even I don't though want, you worked hard for it. I don't you know want to put I mean? in the effort you're yeah, putting no, in, sure, but fuck sure. me, man. If yeah. you're getting it, I want it, too. And if, yeah. I, if I don't get what you yeah. get, then that's just fucked up, man. Well, you're holding me down. See, and this is where I get confused at, though, right? Because <laughs> there are people out there. But then they'll look at Bill Gates and Jordan and, you know, the creator of Nike. Man, that motherfucker got so much money, man. Okay, so why don't you say he's a dick because he got all his money he's not sending you anything? Yeah, why isn't he entitled? What, what, what's... Why, why is he special enough be- to, to get a pass because he got money, but I'm going to come up. Right. And I'm a dick because I'm not bringing right. you up. Are you kidding me? Bill Gates and give, give us all money. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's, that's what it is, right? I mean. You see what I mean? Same, know, same, he, same. he worked his ass off for so long. Yeah. You know, why can't he share a little bit? Exactly. You know? Yeah, that's, that's the world. You say Warren so, Buffett. Say Warren Buffett. Socialism. Yeah, Everybody's yeah. like. Oh, Socialism. Oh, yeah. So right. let, let's get everything for nothing and let's continue the same trend that we're on. And eventually it's going to turn into. A, I mean, a civil war. I mean, Basically. that's what that's what we're gonna be going yeah. to. Is, and so, like and, a buddy, so a buddy of mine. Bro. Oh, it's just gonna get fucked bro. up. Then. Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but, you I, know I what? Really, but how yeah. is the side? Sorry to interrupt no, you, you but how how are the sides gonna be? Because even in the civil war, you had white people with black people, mm-hmm. and then you had all the asshole white people with you know. The, I would like. I would like. I would like to draw the line at age twenty five and under is one team. Right. <laughs> See, you know miss, I mean? See, there's always division. Let's just yeah. get rid of the think, think about this. Okay, take this in the perspective. Mm-hmm. When you want to travel, yeah, you go to Italy. Do you care that there's Italians there? It's kind of why you wanted to go. Exactly. Right? I mean, you you go to Africa. Are you going to go to Africa because you don't want to be around black people? I mean, you want to travel all, to see beautiful land, you know? You, yeah. You, know I mean? you want to go to Mexico? You yeah. go to Mexico all the time. Are you going to be mad? Cause there's Mexicans there. I mean, come on. Like everybody, everybody likes to conform with each other as long as it's convenient, convenient to man. themselves. Right. Convenient. And once it's not convenient anymore, then it turns yeah. into, now we need to build walls. That war. And I'm like, okay, so what about all these resorts and trips you took to Mexico? Right. What about Tanzania in Africa, which is one of the most beautiful places on this planet? Mm. So, so we can't, we can't go there no more. Right. So can I not go to Ireland either? Cause from what I hear, they got like the best fucking beer on the planet. They don't want us there. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you got not, it. not yeah, us. People, yeah, no, not, yeah. people are going to start fucking yeah. keeping Americans out. Yeah, yeah, they fuck feel, you guys. No, I was just, just thinking us yeah. three. Us yeah, three man, together I, in I, Ireland yeah. is not a good yeah, idea. No, hell no. Hell no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to drive today? I can't see still. Nope. My eyes are still <laughs> fucking shut from I, the fight I, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. It's a goat. Let's ride the goat. <laughs> Top of the morning, tell ya. <laughs> yeah, and it's just so uh, something that, that was very interesting that happened to a buddy of mine. I won't say his name, but hopefully he's listening to this, man. Look, his Steve. kid. So his kid, I know. His kid, man. So he's white. His wife's black. Mixed kid. Kid says, well, and verbatim, this kid's four years old, man. Four years old. And says, well, well, daddy, if I'm black and I'm white, why are my hands red? And it, and it hit a light bulb. Now, most people would be like, where's Tim going with this? He was talking about the blood under his yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? And I'm just like... How is it that everybody ignores the simple fact that this kid knows no difference in what racism he doesn't know how mm-hmm. to mistreat somebody based upon the skin color, whatever it's the taught. case may it's be. All taught. And everybody wants to say, "Oh no, it's not taught." They were just they were bred that. Okay, cool. If if that's if that's your logic and your truth behind it, you're and this is not my judgment. This is my opinion. You're already a walking shit show. I, I'm not going to judge you, but. If you have that mentality, just like you said, there are certain people, whether you see it or not around you folks out there listening, who can see the potential in you. If they're challenging you, it's because they see that potential. But we can't make you grab it. But mm-hmm. getting offended and crying wolf is just making shit worse. It's making everything so much worse. So right back to these labels, I don't, I don't go and say, you know, you know, well, my boy Josh or my boy Drew or my boy Mike or, you know. And White Mike. You know, and just like, you know what my kids say? You know what, man? I'm pretty sure Mike is like the friend that you have that we like the most. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Your kids say that about me? Yeah. 
Oh, that's, oh, that's awesome. Awesome. no, no, hands, hands I bring down. them donuts and shit. Yeah, hands down. <laughs> hey, oh no, we can't get him to wake up. Mike, yeah. Mike comes in. Hey, hey, guys, got donuts <laughs> downstairs. Right. I'm like, oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna come here with a donut box. <laughs> Ain't MD, gonna be no donuts in MD it. Is here. <laughs> know how to get you up now? You yeah. know what I mean? But it's like mixed kids, white Mike. <laughs> I'm not even white. And they, and they love Mike. People don't even know it. I'm yeah, not I mean, even white. Oh, I know you're yeah. Hispanic. But yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's my point. But when people see him, they see white. And these kids love him. My kids don't know no different. You yeah. know what I mean? And I'm just like. Because they judge I don't, me. I don't teach my Because they that, judge you know me I mean? off of our interaction. Interactions. Yeah. My ne- my, oh, I'm sure when my they nephew. First, I'm, sure when, I'm sure when they first saw shit, me, shit. they were scared as shit. Because most kids was. look at me and they see muscles and tattoos and a bald head and a goatee and I don't have the prettiest face. My nephew, man, yeah. can barely talk. Can barely talk. Mike walks in the house one morning. Oh, this is amazing. Man, I, look, hey, bro, caught <laughs> me so off guard. Uh, now, my, my nephew, man, handsome, adorable, whatever term you could give him. No, I was, was going to steal this little dude. Bro, <laughs> chocolate little baby. Darker than me. Chocolate little baby. Muscular. Yeah. He's all, he's bow leg, this, everything, this man. big in diapers, man, look, quads and, and fucking Mike, shoulders. And and, <laughs> bro, it, it built. It just yeah. built. And Mike is like, who is this? I said, tell him who you are. He said, my name's JC. His name's mm-hmm. Jace. Mike said, man, it's nice to meet you. Man, you're such a cool kid. And, you know, he said, what you got going on? How old are you? Jace told him his age. He said, yeah, 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 yeah. He just woke up. Mm-hmm. So, he, you know, that's that's his conversation, man. He can say a few words. And then Mike said, man, you're awesome, man. It's so nice to meet you. Jace kicks his foot up and said, it's nice to meet you, too. Like, <laughs> like clear as day. Clear Bro. as day. It's nice to meet you. Nice too. to meet you too. I and said, walks off. I said, damn. And Mike looked back at me and was like, man, that dude's so freaking awesome. Yeah. yeah. I was like, bro, he's just a good kid. And he just he just wants to have fun and jump off of bleachers. And you know what I mean? Half the time I'm like, man, I tell my sister, I'm like, man, he's gonna break his knees. He jumps off the highest stuff. But he's oblivious to anything in the world. He just he wants to be a kid, have fun, eat, sleep, poop. Yeah. You know? And, and just and it, I'm like, he would know no different, though. Right. Well, you've seen the, the videos of the like the little kids. They're, there's one with a, a little black boy and going around and giving free hugs to, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, 30 yeah. people. Yeah. And he didn't care who they were. Yeah. yeah. And the, they didn't care who he was. They were just like, hell, you yeah. hug. I want to hug. It's yeah. instilled, it's like, man. It's me. taught. And then uh, you got the, the tweet that Trump sent out. And we're not going to go political on that bullshit, but... You know, he he uh, tweeted a, a video of a young black boy and a young uh, white boy, and they found each other on their street, and they on the just sidewalk the kid, yeah, yeah the friend, and they yeah, just went yeah, up and yeah. they hugged each other. Yeah. yeah, they don't give a shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, they, a friend. Oh, yeah. somebody to play with. Someone yeah. my size. Yeah, man. Look at that. There, there's no reason for division, no. and the only people that are dividing us are the 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 greedy and the nasty individuals, and they want what they don't deserve. And they're gonna do whatever they can do to get it. And point at blank, cost. and point blank, have some goddamn respect in yourself, and try to not follow the guy next to you. Because if Tim, yeah. if Tim decides he's gonna go running into a fire, right for the hell of it, well, that looks cool. Let's go fucking run into the fire, Mike. I don't know. I'm that, sorry. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. See, <laughs> okay. Well, see, Drew's gonna follow you. <laughs> Drew is gonna follow you. White Mike is gonna see the fuck out of him. And, and my thing is too, though, man. Like that's what I like, though. And I, 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 I honestly think, man, like it goes both ways. Just like for for most of us coming up, it was a community that raised a child. Mm-hmm. If I see that takes you silly, it takes a village, yeah. village, man. Yeah. If I know there ain't no damn reason you need to be following me in this fire, bro, chill. I'll be right back. Yeah. You ain't gonna be able to handle this shit. How, you know what I mean? But but here's the problem. Go both ways. But here's the man. problem. There's so many motherfuckers now that are like, hey, follow me into this fire. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just so I could see how many of you fucking morons are gonna do it, right? And then they start running that way, and the idiots are so 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 busy looking around to see who else is gonna do it, they don't see the motherfucker go around the fire. And so they jump right fucking in, and then the dudes on the other side of the fire just laughing his ass off all the goddamn Everybody jump on three. Right. One, yeah. two, right. three. Ah, bitches. Well, guess, God, guess God, who, bitch. well, guess who the guy is? The guy is the government. The media, the fucking social media, the fucking idiots that fucking use it to control you. The, the, mm-hmm. it, it's 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 not it's not each other that we need to be fighting right now, man. You need to fucking have some Period, goddamn bro. intelligence Period. and t- gain some yeah. intelligence and read on your own. Try to find a newsworthy 
um, avenue, right? Like I, I actually found an, a, a station or a, an email company that emails out neutral news. There is no opinions on it. It is old school, like when they used to, oh, yeah, Bob, yeah. Bob yeah. Saget here in fucking yep. Channel 5 News and yeah, yeah. had a burning house, and three men ran inside and got him out, and, and he never said, three black men and ran in, and then that's what it turned into. Right? Now, and now, it it's, into. now it's yep. like that, right? Yeah, yeah. So have some goddamn respect in yourself. Educate yourself a little bit before you make a decision. Before you like a page on Facebook, verify it. Yeah. Before you do anything, you know, that and, and make a comment on somebody else's page, maybe read into what their problem is. See what see what their opinion's all about and, and research it a little bit. And instead of just getting on there and arguing, don't breathe any life into well, see, it. And, yeah. uh, bro, I, I just you know? care about people. I, I don't care who you are. I don't mm-hmm. care about your color. This co- the question came up to me. If I had a white buddy getting into it with a black guy, you know, would I stand back and watch and let it play out, or you know, uh, That's am, a I, going, ass am I going question. to intervene because you know, because question. this is a black guy yeah. and racism? And I, I was like, well, I, I'm going to tell you, you asking the wrong person that shit. If if I served in the military with this dude, if he's been a great neighbor and looked out for my house, if I was like, hey, could you come help me out? I got a flat tire, right? And we mm-hmm. become cool, we create a bond, whatever the case may be. If I've known you a year or two, three, four years, I don't give a shit who's trying to fight you. That color don't matter. Mm-hmm. You know that paddle we talked about earlier? <laughs> that go your IT band. <laughs> I'm going to just put that energy out there. Because I'm not, oh, I, I, you know, Mike, I can't help you. as a black dude, man. As you know, the culture going to kick me out. Okay. Cool. It's so stupid. Like, like that's yeah. the dumbest shit on the planet. You're going to ask me if I'm going to help him. Now, Wait. granted, I ain't got to help Mike. Let's be real here. But you're going to ask me if I'm going to help him. Come on, man. It, it's being a good person. It's just being a good it's person. It's just being a good person. That's it. Um, I, I When it, we had our <laughs> last snowstorm or whatever, um, I was going around in my truck trying to help people get out of being stuck. And there was a guy on the side, another guy that was trying to push him out. Anyways, I got out and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. I got a little time on my hands. Let's get this lady out. And it just happens to be, um, it was one of my black friends that I grew up with. Mm-hmm. And we haven't seen each other for like 15 years. And out of nowhere, who, like we stopped for a minute and we gave each other big ass hugs. And we we're like, motherfucker, this is cool. I can't believe it. you. Like, I was like, where you been? Florida. Or like, you still live in Florida? Yeah. And you're just here now on accident. And he's like, yeah, I'm just trying to find people to help. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I never thought I was like, oh, well, that lady better be careful. She's a white lady. Yeah. Let, well, let me let me go over oh, there and, and rescue real quick. And, and, because, and to wrap back around, for all of you who say, you know, well, Tim, you're talking about help, my, helping Mike beat somebody up in peace in the same sentence. It's a damn example. Calm calm your ass down. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, people will take anything out of context any, anymore, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm, to the, I'm at a point to where I'm glad that I was able to be here today because I was going to go on Facebook and make this video. But I'm sick of Todd. I'm so tired of having to explain every goddamn thing I say. I'm so over that, dude. Like, I'm I'm tired We've of saying something. Life. And then, there, you know, somebody's like, well, oh, Tim, you got to be careful with that. You know, just like you say gay on air and somebody's like, oh, well, you know, if Mike gets famous, we're going to pull up this information from about 15 years ago when he said gay. And, oh, I'd you love know, that. Blah, I would blah, blah, love blah. that. You know what I mean? And oh, I'm just like, it. bro. And I'm like, listen, listen, cut the shit. Because if you want to be a dick about it, you just – Fucking passed a bill to where if you hit a dog, which I agree with it, you know, well, uh, animal cruelty. It's a felony. It's now. a felony, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everybody with no hesitation marched for gay pride for equal rights. Aside from the rioting and looting, because I, I don't care who you are, I don't agree with that shit because I wouldn't want my business burned down either. I, I just wouldn't, just because you're mad. Because mm-hmm. what if what if it took you a minute to understand that I was a black person and you was burning my shit down? Now what? what? Were you going to say, oh, I'm sorry? Yeah. Your fucking sorry ain't doing me no good. Go, go fucking pay for my shit. Oh, my bad. My yeah, bad. My, my, my fault, bro. I ain't, you know, was, oh, so, you, so you're not going to replace my shit either. Yeah. Okay, cool, because now I'm going to beat all y'all ass, and now I'm going to be a reverse racist. So, oh, oh, there we go. We got that one. And my yeah. thing is this, with the peaceful people. I don't see people throwing, you know, throwing that much of a fit about it. When it came to the right peaceful black people protesting, it was people getting run over. It was people who was mad about it. It was people who had to throw a bigger fit. But I'm like, everybody wants equality. But when it came to the gay pride, everybody was on board. When it comes to animals, everybody's on on board. Now, 
A lot of people going to say, well, you know, what about the black guy? Listen, cut that shit out. There's bad eggs and apples in every race, dude. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I, so don't hit me with the, you know, he was sagging and he had da-da-da-da-da. Okay? Yeah. What about the Asian dude who did it? Or the Mexican dude who did it? Or everybody's doing this shit. They, th- somebody's doing something stupid somewhere. Okay? My, my thing is this. If, yep, I already know. I already know, bro. <laughs> If again, it goes back to this whole label shit. That's uh, that's what it goes back to, because and yeah. it was explained. If you haven't seen the documentary, go watch it. It's on Netflix. I think it's called like the Thirteenth Amendment. It, it explains how this whole criminalization mindset of things came about. This shit is it's digitally programmed, just like you said. The, the phone is these people's bible. Nobody can even think for themselves anymore. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the people who do think for themselves, we've had this conversation. I've had this conversation with so many people. You're an idiot, you're a bigot, you're a conspiracy theorist, you're a, by the way, CIA made that word up so y'all can shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> uh, you, you have to be something because you think for yourself, you know what I mean? And I'm like, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to lose my black card because some stuff I said on this podcast today, by the way. That's okay, you, you know, know why? You know, you know why? Because you know, your black card I, yeah, ain't, good at, ain't, ain't good, good at anyway. Sears, it ain't good at fucking it, Walmart, it, it ain't good at anywhere you know else, I mean? man. But you know what it is good for? Bullshit. Bullshit. It's, it's good yeah. for bullshit. It's good for bullshit. You know what I mean? And I even told, I told a buddy of this, you know, a buddy of mine this the other day. I said, look, man, I, I've worked at a lot of massage places. And I, I intentionally used to be the last person to do a practical if I knew there was somebody else interviewing against me. And my, I never thought of my color. All I thought of was, man, you have no clue how many books I've picked up. And I'm going <laughs> to blow this mother. Whoever this is I'm about to do this practical on, I'm going to blow their mind. You could be the prettiest white person, Mexican person. What you're not getting this job over me? I'm telling you now. And I we talked about it's a mindset thing. Yes, it's a mindset thing. Oh, I don't care. Wait who a minute. You are. Wait a minute. You're not finna get this wait job over Did me. Did you not let the color of your skin hold you down? Oh, I'm sorry. You mean yeah. you, you mean you didn't play a yeah. victim at that moment? Yeah. You mean you stepped up and, and took what you learned and, and educated yourself and you and no, you fucking no, made yourself the best you you could be and so you knew you were confident in yourself. And I've talked about Come this on. the most multiple Why would you do so that? fucking weird. Yeah, no, and I've talked about this to multiple people. Yes. At some of these jobs, I've had racial interactions where you know some people were racist, whatever the case then may be. Then fuck that job. It, period. Point yeah. blank. But you know, but you know what? I never changed. I couldn't let. It's just, and I, I, I appreciate my mom and grandparents for this, man. I could never let somebody have that much control. It's, to and me, that's, and I'm that's the whole up. point. I'm giving up. You that's know what the whole mean? point. If what I'm, are you giving? Yeah. What are you giving life to? What are you giving control yeah. to? So I'm basically Stop stuff, it. I'm giving. My, I'm handing you my soul. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. okay, because I'm black. Because you look at me and you see earrings and broad shoulders, which if I've told you this, it's happened multiple times. I have a tenant right next door to me who has tried so much racial bullshit. And I'm just like, look, whatever your issue is, that's on you. Yeah. You can't stop me from feeding my kids, yeah. though. My earrings ain't stopping people from getting on my massage table. Yeah. My broad shoulders ain't stopping people from getting on my massage table because half the people who are afraid of me and they I've had clients admit it. Oh, man, when I first met you, I was a little nervous. They get a massage from me, and guess what? They ain't going nowhere else. Man, I, I couldn't even see myself getting a massage from they, that. My therapist was trash. I thought they were great until I met you. Yeah, you judged me at first, but am I going to get in my feelings and say, man, you know what? You judged me as a black man, and I shouldn't even be giving you a massage now. So mm-hmm. I'm just go home with crumbs to give to my babies and show my Kill babies that you got no yourself. way. You know what I'm saying? So, and, I, and that's my thing. It's That's always been my thing, whether it's Black Lives Matter, whether it's, you know, I don't even know the right term, so I'm going to just say it, gay equalities, whatever the case may be. Your approach changes everything, man. It changes everything because what happens if every single time somebody tried to racially profile me, I acted out. I already know the scenario. People see me and they see fear. I'm a bigger black guy. You know what I mean? In my eyes, I'm not big. But in most people's eyes, I am. We can go to the mall. I guarantee you people going to stare at me like, yo, what yeah. the fuck? You know what yeah. I mean? In my mind, I'm like, yo. Fuck this shoe story. <laughs> like I'm not like I'm not thinking about it. So and a lot of people don't understand this, and that's why some people say I'm naive, gullible, or they'll call me Uncle Tom, is because I'm yes, I know racism exists. I've had a shit ton of racial interactions to where, you know, a cop may have said some wrong shit or some slick shit or, you know, my car being illegally searched, whatever the case may be. But they had to bring it to my attention. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, mm-hmm. totally. You know what I mean? So like, give me, because yep. so I'm not me, walking around. Give me a final message. Yeah, because we're running over. Oh but shit! Oh, sorry, no, you're sorry, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a final message 
on what your view is on how people should be. And, and I'm not asking you because you're black. Yeah, 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 just yeah. what your view is on how people should be behaving and, and, and try to make it as, as short and as simple as possible. What's the problem? How do we fix it? Where do we go from here? Plain and simple, find a solution and collectively rewrite the script. It's that simple. How do you do it? You got to let go of your own exactly. bullshit and greed. Exactly. Because otherwise it's not going to happen. Yeah. It, it don't matter who you are. It, it's really that simple, man. You know, and a lot of people don't want to hear. What's your opinion? Uh, let people live. Just let people be people. I mean, it, it's as simple as that. If you, if you let that person be who they are, how is that going to affect you? You know what I mean? If, if, if he's going to talk shit, if you got in my face right now, I have that choice. I have a choice to, yeah. you know, remove, fight you, yeah, yeah. or I have a choice to walk away. And remove the judgment. Now, a long time ago, yeah, yeah. I would have beat your ass. But yeah. Yeah. now I, ha- I have no, like, I don't, that's not a version of me anymore. Because yeah. I, I learned. And I think people just need to learn from, you know, their past mistakes. And all this shit that's going on, man, it's just, it's madness. And all these young kids... Stop being fucking stupid. Yep. That I mean, it's that simple. Stop being fucking stupid. Stop following your best friend into the fire. Yep. If I came up to you and I told you that you shouldn't hang out with somebody because they were three inches shorter than you. If I came up to you and I, I told you that that person's an idiot, you asked me why, and I told them because look at how long their hair is. If I came up to you and I told you, fuck that guy, he can't grow a beard. I grow a beard. He can't grow a fucking beard. You'd look at me and you'd call me an idiot, right? That's what we're doing. And why why don't the same rules apply? Right. Everything that people are being upset about right now, you're mad because a guy has a certain job, he's wearing a uniform, has a badge on his left lapel, thinking he's a bad guy. Same, Same idiocy as thinking somebody is not worthy because they're shorter than you. Taller than you, mm-hmm. heavier than you, and, and I know we run over man. And the same, the same thing could be said for people who serve in the military. How many people got family in the military? I, of right. course. If the narrative has been pushed that Arabic people are bad people, we talked about this. Yep. Are you okay, or are you disgusted with your son who just killed an Arabic person? Because that's what they've been trained to do. Nope. You welcome them home with open arms. Yeah. So why is that okay? But we can't fix shit here. I'm, I'm just curious. It's That's, stupid as shit. That, yeah, it's the stupidest shit. It's the question Quit feeding of it. a lifetime. Quit feeding you know? the monster. Yeah. Let's not feed the monster. Let's try to find some positive shit to fucking and, be and happy co- about. And find a fucking solution. Let's march for some yeah. proud. Yeah. Let's let let's march for college people who fucking finish college early. Let's yeah. let's let's have a, a a parade of graduates who fucking just got their doctorates. Let's march for those motherfuckers. Yeah. Let's let's be proud of that shit. Let's, let's do some let's shit. Let's march that, for the kids like, that just didn't get a graduation and worked their ass yeah. off and actually yeah. did a great job. You let's, know. Let's spread some positivity instead of acting like fucking jackasses, destroying history for no fucking fucking reason because yeah. you see somebody else doing it you're being fed you're being fed bullshit to think about and be angry about what does that say about you you're weak man the yeah. fuck up check your nut sack i don't care if you're a, a, <laughs> i don't care if you're i don't care if you're a man or a woman check your nut sack both all of you and fucking get it together because this is bullshit what we're doing and it ain't gonna we ain't going nowhere good we ain't well, going damn, nowhere good like this. Sure. You just Absolutely. Paul Harvey the shit out of this one. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm dropkick uh, Mike. <laughs> it's Vanilla Gorilla and Mr. Hey. Tim Corner. Yeah. You can say your own name. Do it real Mr. quick. Let, let, let's show some love where love needs to be given. In all across the world, and 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 it's everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere needs it, but oh, yeah, especially sure. at yeah, Are yeah, You yeah. Tattooed? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> are you tattooed.com. Tim Dunn, one of our sponsors. Thank you very much. We're not getting any free tattoos out of this. He, not, I can't even fucking get a goddamn appointment, but okay. Are You Tattooed? We love you anyway. <laughs> yeah, he does awesome work. Man to Machine. Yeah, yeah, Look it up. Yeah, Check yeah, it out on yeah. Facebook. You can Google it. Massages, PT, or just personal training, man. It's awesome. He's a performance specialist. Let's Check him out. Fun, yeah. CrossFitDNR.com and CrossFitBullies.com. And that's all I will say about that because <laughs> you gave me shit last time. All right. So thank you guys for joining us. We had a uh, fun conversation. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, here we go. Bring it a dash off, take it a fast shot. I ain't leaving till I know the cash gone. Dash off, looking at the fuck with suede has been a bad call. Mass off, that you can't do it like me. Get a crowd jumping the puppet in the side feed. Check one, check two, check, check mic three. Don't speak, you see, it's the best in